And the Panthers have won three in a row. Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers have won four in a row. Both teams playing their best football right now. <laughs> All right, C, what is the key to this matchup? Anytime you go on the road, especially in the short week, all right, you have to be careful. I can't give extra possession. Cam Newton, he's given a lot of respect to Ben Roethlisberger. He looks up to Ben, how big he is, how he plays in the pocket. You can't try to outduel Ben, even though you have to. So I, I'm, I'm saying Explain that. Explain that. I'm saying that you know you have to play a great game, but you can't keep your eye on trying to outduel Ben compared to playing it play by play, taking what the defense gives you, and not going into the game saying, you know something, I'm going to take over the game. It might be. I might have to get rid of it quick. I might have to throw it down the middle. Whatever the game would take compared to keeping my eye on the matchup, which a lot of times you force to play, and it forces you into turnover. So Carolina, they've been on a hot streak. If they take care of the football, they can go to, um, to Pittsburgh and win this game tonight. Listen, Carolina, they, I, you guys know how I feel. They turn their season around. And not this season was going south, but their season was teetering. They're down 17 nothing Philly in the fourth quarter after playing a terrible game against Washington. They scored 21 straight against Philly in that fourth quarter, and since then they have been as good as any team in the league. One of the keys to that has been playing clean games, is yes. not turning the ball over, mm -hmm. and in the two games since then, jumping out all over their opponent early. They jumped out on the Ravens 24-7. They jumped out this weekend on the Bucks 35-7. I mean, that game was over at halftime. And that is who, as even though Cam has not been up and down this year, who he and the Panthers have been this or entire time he's been there are front runners. That's yes. how you get to a 15-1 season where I think you mm -hmm. started 13 or 14-0. and 0, Is you start hot. And you keep getting hot. It's why the Philly game was so surprising. Because they, they started so slow. They didn't have, a, there weren't a lot of instances in Cam's whole career of being awful, They're, the team being bad through three quarters, right. and then turning the switch in the fourth quarter. So I think the start of this game is critical for Carolina. This is a game where if I'm going to really get in the weeds on it, if I'm Carolina and I win the toss, I do not defer. I do not go for that, let me try to get mm. the ball right before the half and then score the beginning of the second half. I know that's even more popular on the road because the crowd is going to be loudest at the start of the game and less loud at the start of the second half. So you'd rather have the ball in, in that. No, no, no. I want to get out early. Mm -hmm. I think the Pittsburgh defense played well the last month, but I still think Carolina can move the ball on them. I, if I'm Carolina, it's very important to me I'm playing with a lead. And I know that everyone wants to play with a lead, but some teams, the Saints don't have to play with a lead. The the Chiefs, the Rams don't have to play with a lead. The Panthers, their offense is peak capacity if they get out to a good start early on. And we talked yesterday about how good this Panthers defense actually is. Mm -hmm. What does that do to Ben Roethlisberger? Oh, man, it's gonna, they're going to put a lot of pressure on Ben. Typically, Carolina, they make you one-dimensional. Very, very stout inside from a defensive front to try to make you force the ball. They got some of the best coverage linebackers in the league that you want to see in Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley. They're a special, special football player. So that's what they're going to try to do. If you want to look at something besides the Carolina defense, you want to look at something as far as a key to the game, watch Carolina because they've had more of a Jekyll and Hyde personality as far as being home and being on the road, Jenna. Jenna, you're a person you like consistency. At home, they lead the league as far as rushing attempts. They rush the ball 53% of the time. On the road, they're a totally different team. And what happens is, Nick, they get behind on yep. the road, and then they get away from that physical style and that running attack. So on the road, they only rush the ball 29% of the time. So if you're watching this game and they're not running the football, that's the way that they play on the road. They have to turn that around in Pittsburgh. So at home, they're the best at it. They have the highest percentage on the road. They are the lowest percentage in the league, so drastic difference. That discrepancy is jarring, teams. and that also leads to why at home they're 5-0, and scoring 32 a game, and on the road they're 1-2, and scoring less than 21 a game. But the, the other important part of that home road thing is the five home games versus three road games. That means the second half of the season. Not only do they have two against New Orleans, not only do they have this game here against Pittsburgh, yep. they only got three home games left. So in that stacked NFC where they are still very alive for everything, they're alive for the one seed still in the NFC, like it's going to get tough for them down the stretch. They only got three more home games left. This is a game that I think is actually more important to Carolina than to Pittsburgh, just mm. because I think Pittsburgh is 
clearly the best team in their division with respect to Cincinnati. Carolina is fighting for that. This would be an enormous win for Carolina if they can get it. Started. I think if Pittsburgh can get the 6-2-1 and one without L. Bell, that sends a message not only to the yeah, rest of the league, but to him. To Le'Veon? Yeah, maybe he'll start fitness. tweeting. <laughs> well, I can read it. I wouldn't even mess around. With Panthers that. and Steelers, Thursday Night Football on Fox. Coming up, could Des Bryant disrupt the Saints' chemistry? That's ahead on First Things First. I thought it was breaking news yesterday that they, someone saw Nick Wright in a gym. Well, yeah, no, no. That's